another great Pac-Man player in the region. A lot of fun Pac-Man sets here tonight. Key though, gonna go with the hero. I've seen him play hero before. I'm not sure if this is a matchup counterpick thing or if he's just trying to have fun or what, but his hero is definitely legit. That being said, he is taking a lot of damage here off of JTAP. JTAP just doing a very solid job so far, just racking on the damage, whether it be projectiles or the Hydrant or whatever he needs to do. JTAP, I feel, is a little more Hydrant and Fruit oriented than a player such as Tomahawk, who we saw earlier. I think Tomahawk is a lot more aggressive with this Pac-Man, just like going in with Pac-Man's normals, whereas JTAB just doesn't mind being a little more patient. It still goes in when he needs to. It's not like he's a super campy player or anything like that. But Down Smash putting in a ton of work there for Key, getting rid of the Hydrant and knocking Pac-Man away in the same attack. And what we're seeing coming out here from Key, well, is that dash attack, first of all. I can't believe that worked, if I'm going to be honest. But we're seeing a lot of these not quite fully charged side Bs. But that, I think, is... Honestly, that might be Hero's best move right there, what we just saw. That deals an absurd amount of damage. Just crazy disjointed range. And he's got the bounce in play, too, which that's just going to KO that Pac-Man with the high... I can't believe it. So... Who is looking like a great game for JTAB is suddenly at a two stock deficit. That bell though, gonna last a super long time. He, I think, extending its duration with his get up attack. And we're seeing Key opt to kind of throw JTAB off stage here just so he can get that menu going and maybe get some buffs, get the bounce back or something. But now JTAB is really up in Key's face and. This is, in my opinion, what you want to do against Kiro. You want to, if you can't be in his face, at least throw things at his face so that he can't cycle through the menu and just really rush him down. Don't give him the time to read. Don't give him the time to charge. You really have to focus on just hitting him a lot. You don't have to hit him hard. You just have to hit him a lot. Nice recovery there from Key. Speaking of Key though, that Key is going to take Key out right there. And now we're back at a last stock game here, even stocks. Let's see. Oh, I thought we were going to maybe see a magic burst come out there from Key. I'll have to go for the flak, unfortunately not hitting its mark. Here comes the bounce again. This is brutal for Pac-Man. I don't know what JTAB was supposed to do there, except maybe attempt to stall off stage just a little bit longer. But that was not enough to save him there. That bounce just invalidating so many of Pac-Man's most crucial tools in the matchup. I think that's definitely the main thing for Hero fighting Pac-Man, is trying to get that bounce whenever possible. So now we do see Key up a game here. Tomahawk last set opting to go to Town and City. JTAB content with going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. I'm curious as to what the mindset was here. I do think that this isn't a bad choice of stage per se, especially since the stage, in my opinion, is not really the reason at all why JTAB lost that game. I think there are just some unfortunate things that happened, such as that fire hydrant that got bounced back at him and that ending. But the stage, I don't think, had much to do with it at all. So if JTAC can just clean up his play a little bit and not get into these sticky situations, just hang on to his stocks for as long as he can. Again, he doesn't need to hit Key hard. He just needs to stay alive until he can finally find that finishing blow. Key, though, using his side B there, it's, a, it's such a great effect. Look how far that goes. He was standing at that little lip of the stage, and that went toward like the center of the Pokeball with that zap. That was just nuts. 
So I'm curious to see, JTAB is going to opt for the bell there, not going to work out for him. And he's going to eat a forward smash to the face. And this is where it might get really hard for JTAB because now he has Accelerado active and that is going to allow him just to jump around and not really care about Pac-Man zoning games so much. Because why would you care if you can just be anywhere at any time? Incredible usage right there of JTAB's tools against him. JTAB's getting hit by the kitchen sink here against this hero. And now the bounce is on board again. JTAB wants to take the stock. He is either going to have to wait for bounce to wear off, or he is going to have to do it without relying on his projectiles. The bounce is gone now, but the hero is still powered up, and that is going to be enough to take the second stock. And here, we're seeing a repeat of the first game where JTAB is down three stocks to one. I really hope JTAB can at least bring it back to last stock again, because he doesn't seem to be that far behind in terms of his gameplay here, but he's just been on the receiving end of a lot of crazy situations. He, of course, not to discredit him, he has been playing this very solidly, just getting bounce when he needs to and utilizing all the tools that JTAP has to his own advantage. I think that's been one of the major things for Key here this set is Kira already has an absurd number of tools, but then you add all Pac-Mans to your arsenal. But the Key will take the stock there. JTAP finding himself at 111. Obviously, an incredibly rough situation. Nothing that can't be brought back, but I mean, it's an understatement to say he is a mountain to climb here. And just like that, we saw, I think, everything that killed JTAB game one, killing him again game two. How unfortunate is that? He with a very dominating game two there. That just, what can I say, man? That's just how this game is sometimes. That's just how this matchup is sometimes. Sometimes he just gets bounced versus